going on guys, Zebs here bringing you another tutorial and uh, this one will be basically why it's important and how it's important, why why it's important to uh, keep your files or your designing stuff all organized or and I'm also going to show you good tips to keep it organized. Um, the reason why I'm making a tutorial on this is because sometimes I Skype call, Skype call people and I watch them design things like that and I like their designing like organization is so bad they spend like 10 minutes looking for something which you generally don't want to do you want to keep that to a minimal you want to put all your time on designing not looking for something so today I'm going to show you how to organize your stuff and how I generally organize my stuff which a lot of people kind of liked um, I got a couple requests on this so thank you guys for the requests um, so yeah let's get started so the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you my setup and then after that I'll show you some cool little things to do. So here are my setup. Um, generally uh, I like to have my packs that I use right in the front so I don't have to go through files to dig through. Um, a lot of like generally this is just mostly my stuff as you can tell all the Zeb stuff but uh, this one I use for 2D. This one I, I'm working on a 2D style Twitter header. Uh, another one here one's outdated I'm pretty sure so um, yeah I just have generally all my stuff that I use uh, I do need to mm, might remove a couple things here and there but generally I use my Lightroom v3 my OP pack personal pack and silver pack those are the three main packs I use and they're at the very bottom so I don't have to dig through thousands of folders just to find it um, and then after that again I have some stuff here that products um, same but textures I have a textures folder um, where I keep textures, which this is even organized. I have it where it's not just a massive cluster of just textures of different types. I have them all in folders, so I can just drag them in there. And then when I open them, I have all those types of textures. Just to keep it organized, save time, and then, yeah. So, uh, styles, some styles, uh, AIs uh, for 3D. Keep all my stuff in here, just so it's organized. Like. It'd be so unorganized if I just had all of this stuff not in a folder, like in their own folders. It'd be so hard to find certain things. So it's generally really important to keep your stuff organized. Um, my HD wallpapers. So yeah, I'm not gonna go out there or anything, but that's generally what we're gonna show you. So a cool little tip you can do is uh, so that some people actually don't know how to use. If you used Windows for years, you, you'll probably know how to use it, do this. But generally if you go new folder, it'll make a folder icon. Um, but generally, I don't like just to have a boring folder. I like to have my folders in like unique looks, um, how I have this one as a star. Um, but to change this, just right click it, properties, um, customize, um, and then change icon. And then you have loads of icons to pick from, just from the Windows um, thing. Um, so sometimes you can find a really cool one. Uh, there's that star, whoops star um there's oh there was a, there's another a really there's this one just check mark maybe <laughs> we'll do the x i like the x so once you select an icon just click apply click okay and then there you go you have this folder you can name it whatever generally i'd name it graphics oops I'll type it down. graphics uh, I already have that name, so I'm just going to name it something else. I'll just name it GFX. So you have your uh, your folder here. And then what you want to do is just drag all the important stuff into it. So say I wanted oh, my Lightroom. Put that in there. My, and then my Silver Pack. Uh, we'll put that in there as well. So these are the two primary things uh, that I'll be using. So you want to have your primary things that you're using right in the front so you don't have to dig through a bunch of folders to find it um, that's a good idea and then you should have a textures folder uh, if you're a 3d well I guess 3d and 2d use textures so you should have a textures folder um, don't just delete textures that like you use one time because it can come in handy later I use textures over and over all the time they're nice textures um, so just make a textures folder and just kind of organize it you know like say you download a bunch of uh, concrete things make a current concrete folder in this folder 
and then just drag all that in there. So now, there you go, you have a concrete folder. So you just wanna add secondary stuff that's not necessarily a must have as a primary uh, in here. So logo AIs, that one's important. You should have in a pack if you're a 3D designer. And then for 2D designers, you wanna have a 2D logo pack. So it has all the logos. Now, some might say, uh, let's just make this into a PSD pack, which is true, yes. But the problem with that is not everyone has a beast processor. Um, say you have a pretty weak computer, which I had for years while designing, it was awful. But um, if you have a very massive pack, let's say, let's just estimate one gig, that's gonna be really difficult to run while you're like recording a speed art and making a banner because your processor can't handle that. So that's why it's good to have it all in a folder. So you, you could just, it doesn't have to always load all these constantly while you're trying to work on something because it's unneeded. You can just have it all in a folder and then bam, open what you need and then you're good. It's not gonna waste any processor uh, cores or whatnot. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now this is a little outdated, I do need to, Updated a little bit, like TGN. Ooh, that's kind of cool logo. Ooh, awfully done on the pen tool. But all right, besides the point. So yeah, keep that in mind. Don't just have every single thing you use in one PSD uh, for logo packs, AIs, things like that. Uh, and then uh, let's see here. If you're a content create, well, we're all content creators. But if you um, release packs and stuff, make a folder for that. Uh, make a pack or. A pack a folder that says products or whatever and just put all your products in there because sometimes self i does glitch out and uh if they do contact you about it you can send them that right away and you don't have to search through everything just to find it just to send it it'll all be in a folder um and then also hd wallpapers isn't really necessary i just kind of have that there because i like to change my wallpapers frequently giveaways uh that's something different but if you're a 2d designer you might want to have a cod hd pictures pack um basically where it has a bunch of like call of duty cinematics that you can make banners with so yeah um i'm a 3d designer i'm starting to get into 2d it's kind of cool i learned some cool things from my boy try or triumph not triumph uh incent um but also if you need you can have an add-ons thing uh not necessarily this is just stuff i've collected over the years not everything i've made uh so yeah um, so generally hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it might have not been the most useful tutorial in the world but next week I have a special treat for you guys so keep that in mind uh, this one uh, I found was a very important tutorial um, it kind of it's just an overall good tutorial for beginner designers and maybe even experienced designers it's just good to keep your stuff organized so you can spend more time designing and not searching through all your folders to find this one awesome thing and uh, don't you all just love it when the Windows Explorer stops working? So I guess that's indicating that I should stop this tutorial now and stop rambl ran rambling. So I've been your host today, Zebs. And um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like and comment down below. And if you really, really enjoyed this uh, tutorial, share it, uh, bookmark it, tell your friends about it. Oh, there it is. Um, so, ooh, okay, am I still recording? Yes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Uh, and I'm Zebs and I'm out. Peace.